And God make a preacher. God don't make a preacher for you to pay him. Who paid Jesus? <laughs> the Bible said if you don't work, you don't eat. What the preachers have Hello done. Everyone, it's your boy, the crackhead, and with me, you know him, is Ben. I saw online where a preacher said that pastors are not to be paid. And God make a preacher. God don't make a preacher for you to pay him. Who paid Jesus? Hmm. Right. But do you agree that the minister should have some kind of salary? They should be compensated. Let him get a job and go to work. <laughs> the Bible said if you don't work, you don't eat. What the preachers have done, they have took the pulpit mm. and made it business. That's why you see him. Uh, you see Benny Hinn, uh, these international fellas, they, the $10,000 prayer line, the $50,000 prayer line. It isn't practically every preacher before he go off the television. So that's not a job then? No. I mean, I need to know this. No. When God make a preacher, God don't make a preacher for you to pay him. Who paid Jesus? Hmm. It ain't a preacher walking this earth that's bigger than Jesus. There's not a preacher on this earth that's better than Jesus. He didn't get paid a salary. So why do these preachers got to get paid a salary? So, um, in your opinion, do you think motivational speakers are to be paid? Um, I think it depends on the angle that they're taking. There are, of course, different kinds of motivational speakers. Uh, some of them are more uh, geared towards life coaching. And then you also have the side which is more based on faith and spirituality. So I think where, you know, you can have, um, you know, people that are life coaches and motivational speakers from that side of things who are at such a level that they feel like, why not? I can monetize it. Uh, but I think the true top motivational speakers from the faith spirituality side are the ones that are more geared towards uh, 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 being on a more kind of humanistic level. Mm -hmm. So it's more kind of altruistic. They don't want to make money for it. Their money is is worth much more in terms of how high their soul's going to go, for, mm -hmm. for example. Yeah. All right, forget about spirituality at this moment. Uh, let's just talk about secular motivation, mm -hmm. where you have, let's say, influencers, people motivating people for whatever mm -hmm. reasons. Now, this is minor spirituality. Do you think those guys should be paid? Um, it's a good question. Um, I mean, yeah, well, why not? In all honesty, they're, they're good at what they do. They give people hope. They make people feel like they can reach far, far beyond their potential, mm -hmm. which I think is only a good thing. Uh, some of them can be, you know, uh, right, so who, who pays them if you think they should be paid? Who pays them or who should pay them? They're paid by their followers, the people that appreciate mm -hmm. them, the people that's, that have been... Uh, that have been uh, helped in some way to turn their lives around or fulfill the things that they want to do, but maybe mm -hmm. perhaps weren't able to do previously. All right, so that I, I would understand, like if a motivational speaker, you know, motivates somebody or people to achieve their goals, those people should like, um, in this case, I wouldn't count it as a payment, like a thank you. Mm -hmm. I take these, I'm giving you these because, um, because of you, you helped me achieve my goal, mm -hmm. yeah. So um, uh, when I talk about payment, I'm talking about maybe like um, the government or, you know, um, if they're being invited, let's say somewhere to mm -hmm. speak, public mm -hmm. speaking, mm -hmm. the people that invited them, should they pay them? Uh, I think so, yeah. I mean, uh, it's not only the payment that they're receiving from the people that have invited them, it's mm -hmm. the exposure that they're going to be getting because obviously they'll be reaching a whole different target mm -hmm. audience off of the back of it. Okay. So they're being paid on two different levels. Mm -hmm. um, and frankly, if you're that good at what you do, then why the hell not? Why would you not be you know, charging for your services? For example, am I allowed to say the names of some motivational yeah, yeah, speakers, course, yeah. for example, Anthony Robbins, mm -hmm. who's probably a prime example, I've actually been to one of his talks, um, if you know the fire walk, so I walked across hot coals, mm -hmm. and it's that whole kind of mind over matter thing, but this guy's trained, uh, you know, Obama, some of the top senators, top government members, um, and he has his own private jets, and he has multiple properties and does talks to mm -hmm. hundreds of thousands if not millions of people every year so if you're top of your game and you're doing things on that kind of level of course you're going to be paid mm -hmm. you're going to be you'll be paid you know 
far more than people see probably in in a 10 20 years salary mm -hmm. working grinding just to turn up at a place and say hi how you all doing you know and whether it's right or wrong that's a whole other discussion mm -hmm. you know because who are we to say when someone's you know uh literally uh, excelling and becoming top in their field you're going to be asking for top of your field money mm, i get you uh, because um for me um under the impression that if um a motivational speaker could motivate somebody and that person achieves his or her goal based on whatever they motivated the person on mm. um i would like to think why not they do that same thing for themselves in yeah, order exactly. to get to that there point so that why angle. should they be paid yeah it's like someone who teaches uh media studies you yeah. always think they're they're like a failed tv production thing that couldn't quite go into their own kind of field that they desired to yeah. so they're going to show other people the same with uh you know music teachers with art teachers they could never really get to that point for themselves so they want to impart the knowledge that they have mm -hmm. so I, i understand from that level as well okay all right so now we've clarified the secular motivation now coming to spirituality you know we're talking about um, pastors like i know you're jewish i understand but now uh, uh, you grew up in uh in the uk mm -hmm. and um, probably you've you know seeing churches if not being to a church yourself mm -hmm. now um talking about christianity and um, preachers pastors mm -hmm. uh, do you think they should be paid for what they are doing in the church because um at the end of the day uh, according to jesus christ they were supposed to preach the gospel and bring people to heaven mm -hmm. so should they be paid for that i think it depends on the uh on the angle the person takes there are obviously different offshoots of the various religious types mm -hmm. so there's catholicism there's uh, progressive there's a uh, protestant mm -hmm. there's a uh, new angelical there's baptism there's wow. there's lots of different uh, areas within the church yeah. so it depends i think if if i recall one of the uh, the top preacher motivational speakers is one of one of the uh, evangelical mm -hmm. uh, preachers in the states and he has like his own fleet of planes mm -hmm. and he's he's in the Forbes list for like the top richest people in all of the world. Mm -hmm. So from that angle, uh I'm not sure that someone should be making that much money uh and doing something to help people's souls, you know, because it does make me question that, but then at the same time uh he's good at what he's doing. It's just I'm looking at it from the side thinking, well, you know you're you're professing to be someone who's helping people's spirits yeah but it looks like you're kind of monetizing and taking <laughs> all, all you're taking all the the, the re repaying in this life you're not really interested in the next one you understand <laughs> so that's uh... <laughs> <laughs> wow that cracked me up but actually uh ben is saying the truth because you know uh, when our preachers, our pastors, they live this flamboyant life, mm -hmm. like you said, it's like they're not thinking about the next life. Yeah. If they're preaching to people that heaven is real, come on, there's a better place, and yet the life you're living here is already heaven. A bunch <laughs> of hypocrites. <laughs> <laughs> well, on the other hand, uh, we're not saying that um, they should be poor. Of course, no one should be poor. Uh, but, you know, I, I got what um, Ben was talking about, you can't be living that flamboyant life as a pastor, as a man of God, as a preacher, yet your followers are poor and they're still pouring in their little money into your ministry. Um, you, you think I'm right? Yeah, 100%. Yeah. Um, so that's what we just wanted to discuss today so I can get um, Ben's point of view. Uh, we talked about motivational speaking, if um, they should be paid for that. And ben gave very valid points and you know, reasons he thinks these guys deserve it. But coming to the church, there is a question mark. It's your boy, the crackhead, and one thing with me is... Huh? <laughs> it's your boy, the crackhead, oh. and once again with me is... I'm Benny B. Thank you very much for joining us. Bye for My now. My money's with Church, Church of Crackhead, everyone. <laughs>